Hey everybody and welcome to part 7 of Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon. So in this episode we're doing some backtracking and Bird is the first one to go to the new Whirligig device I believe is what they call it in this game. In this episode we're going to be doing some backtracking and probably going to do the uh, Country Speedway or whatever it's called, the Honey Speedway? No, Honey Speedway is later. I believe it's Country Speedway or Farm Speedway. So first things first, let's go get Molten Crater out of the way. We don't want to have to come back here ever again. Once we finish off the two levels here, then we never have to come back to World 1. There's absolutely no reason to. And good, the level stays unlocked for most of it. Well, for the most part, you know, other than the fact that there's still enemies around to deal with. <laughs> I don't know why the camera angles get weird with those enemies, but they just do. And here we go, into the Sergeant Bird level. See what he has to say. Hello, Spyro. I'm just off to the Tiki Lodge for some R and R. Ooh, some rest and relaxation. Now for this one, what we have to do is you have to put the heads on the Tiki guys. Yay! And then we'll have an even amount of gems after this, so that'll be some good news. Now there is a hidden gem and or hidden gem, a hidden egg. I do believe it's just behind that crackable wall. So yeah, that's where that missing egg was that, you know, we can find. James actually gets two of them. And Luna. Lunar magic. Ew, you're an ugly dragon. Get away from me. Ugly son of a biatch. Eh, happily collect this money. Because apparently in the Spiral Universe we're very materialistic. I don't know what gems actually do for the dragons. In the first game, it was literally it was just our treasure. Second game, there was no excuse or reasoning why we had gems, why we had to use gems, and why money bags were so greedy with them. Like, and why any other Spyro game in general has gems. Like, I always thought maybe they were like a source of magic. You know, like, the Emerald Dream and the Ruby Nightmare, I don't know. I really don't know, man. Can you please land on this guy? Uh, I don't think there's a balloon in there. Oh, I don't. I didn't miss a balloon. Damn birds, man. Bird fighting birds. That seems weird. And why are we a penguin anyway? Could they have chosen like a falcon or a hawk or a, an eagle or you know something? Not a lame ass freaking penguin. Never understood the reasoning behind any of this. Spyro is a very confusing game. And these birds respawn. You can hear them go. So we almost have all the gems. I believe we're missing 44, which now even less. Okay, there's a fly on my screen again. He's trying to piss me off. I don't know why, but he is. Alright, so we only need 11 more gems. I'm hoping we didn't miss any in like the spiral part. It would just be annoying. Sparks grab it. It's just hard for Sparks to grab the gems while we're up so high. Eh. Now where's the last head? In here maybe? Uh, as long as there's a green gem in here, we're... Or... Two red gems. Yep, we got all the gems. Man. This is some good backtracking. We haven't missed anything yet. And the other guy's over here, right? Yeah, right over here. Drop the head on. Perfect. Take this egg as a sign of your honorary membership in the lodge. Well, thank you, but why is this lodge in a volcano? Ryan. That's the name of my brother. That's a very feminine looking Ryan. Well, that's never happened before. I hope it's not a bad omen. Dude, if anything, it's a good omen. Shut up. Ah, hey. hey, we can shoot him with missiles. Poor little stone guy. Anyways, let's exit level. So there's some more gems to our collection, bringing us to a total of 2,200, which we'll probably need because Moneybags is a greedy son of a bitch who steals all our money. Excuse me. Now, we can go back over here, because if you look, Zoe actually showed up. Spyro, I found an egg, but only Sparks will be able to reach it. There's a small hole that leads to a crawdad farm. I can take him there if he's ready. 
I think he is ready. The Crawdad Bonus World. Now, occasionally you'll actually see a loading screen for Sparks. And it's this area, but Sparks is coming up with all the gems and stuff. He's like, yee I kind of wish this recorded in full screen, but there's no way to make Hello, it. Hello, Sparks. Maybe before you take on the nasty Crawdads, I should give you some help. To start, let's practice shooting. Press the circle button to shoot these targets. Okay. Can I just strafe? Can I strafe? Yeah, you hold down L1 to strafe. Man, that was bad shooting. Press square to charge. X for your special attacks. You can also move quickly by charging, like. Yeah, I know that. I just literally said this. For these guys, these guys generally drop keys, and you just have to charge at them. They don't hurt you otherwise. Oh, and here's the strafing with the L and R, R L1 and R1 buttons. See, I literally told you guys how to use everything. Next one will probably be how to use the special power-ups, I assume. Right? Yep. On your trap. And this is the X button. Burnination. See? Really easy. Oh, let me guess more. Why would I need more power-up though? Seriously, I didn't use that much. I'm not that bad at this game. Looks like you're ready, Sparks. If you need any more help, just choose the help option from the pause menu. Yeah, sure. Now, let's see how much uh, stuff are in this level. 200 gems and one egg. Take Sparks to the farm. Why is he green? We had full health on Spyro, first of all. And why the hell are you... I don't know, man. This is weird. Wow. We really need 200 gems. One of them is a 25 right at the beginning. We already got health here. Why would there be health? A little early, don't you think? Yeah, give me the power up, though I don't need it. These things just spawn the enemies. And they also drop gems, so just destroy them. This is literally your beginning level, so it's gonna be pretty basic. Like a basic bitch. Okay, what do you guys want? I guess spawn from the one in the forest field? Okay, so I need to find the red door. There's the red door. Eh. And there'll be so many on screen at one time, so you're generally safe to just go to a certain point. Wait, th that one lived? I thought I destroyed it too. Eh. There's like literally only a hundred gems left. And we got the green key, excellent. And a refill on our power-up. Um, why are, you, why are you having sex with the wall? Is that really necessary, sir? Apparently it is. Hey, crabs, these guys are a little tougher than the other enemies. They don't take one hit to kill him. Hey, look, a purple butterfly. Ah, it's the shield. We need to find the, uh, whatchamacallit, the button for this. Hey, another shield. Which I'm pretty sure... Oh, damn, we've got the gold key, not the blue key. I'm pretty sure this one will have the button to... Yeah, deactivate the shields. Ooh. Just abuse your shield. That's what I do. It's a really good ability to abuse. There's the blue key. Now we can just go down and gun down that freaking. I don't even know what you call it. Is that the rocket? No, it's the moon power up. The the moon blast power up. Thing watch. Just splits. This is just like your split attack. Every game has an attack that splits. Ah, die, crawdads. You guys are kind of like swamp, swamp shrimp type creatures. Death to you! Okay, there's even more. I just wanted to collect the money. Sparks is greedy like that. I don't even know how he collects money. I don't even know where we store it. Upper asses? I assume so. There we go. We destroyed that. Perfection. Oh, I know what's in here. Guess what Sparks also has to deal with, guys? Boss! Man, we're supposed to eat the health yet, Sparks. Dumb. Man, this guy's got a lot of health. Really easy bosses in this game? Well, most of the time. Not any power ups anymore. Hey, you lost your attack. Now I believe he does a wave attack. 
And he is dead, which means we get the egg Nora. Flame name. Get out of here. I'm pretty sure there's just two fives over here. And done. Let's leave. Ah, we don't get to see the sparks loading screen. That sucks. There, I think now we should be able to go and do the speedway. I think we have enough time. You've beaten the Crawdad King and found the lost egg. Not only that, but some of the dragon magic seems to have rubbed off on you. Now you can pick up gems when they're even further away from Spyro. Oh yeah, we can pick up gems from further away. That is so amazing. Not lame. Anyways, let's go to Midday Guardian. You can refight the boss somehow after he clearly sunk into a pool of magma or lava. I don't know if we were underground or not. It's underground, it's magma, it's above ground, it's lava. Well, anyways, let's fly away. Hey, bird. We're here for the speedway. What are you doing here? Spe places, this place is beautiful. I just find it funny how, like, the homeworlds actually became legitimate homeworlds after the first game. Like, those homeworlds sucked. There were enemies everywhere. Like, they were actually the hardest homeworlds in any Spyro game. It's Country Speedway, right? Yeah, Country Speedway. I think we'll do the race first. Get the hard part out of the way. And then we'll do the easy part. Hey, Sparks. Okay, let's do the race the biplanes. Uh, flying pi- Flying pigs. When pigs fly, eh? Ow. Look, free star right off the bat. Now this one I believe is, yeah, we get missiles. I like, oh man, I missed it. How did I miss it? Like clearly I flew into it, but eh. I'm the end of the world. We're already boosting ahead of these guys pretty fast anyway. It's the back pig, back, back bacon, die. It's gonna turn you into bacon, you stupid things. No, I was gonna say the black biplane. Didn't come out right. I don't really want the missile one right now, because the speed boost is helpful. Though, the missile is very helpful as well. It's a long gap between uh, rings. There's second place. Hopefully we can do this in one take. Though I really do like the speedway music in this. And, oh, you take that boost as well, you good little piggy, sir. There we go. Fire in the hole, Mr. Piglet. Do you guys know Winnie the Pooh? I like Winnie the Pooh. He's like the best bear ever. Eating all of that honey from the pot. Honey is delicious. Well, honey doesn't really look like that, so... I don't know what kind of honey he has. There's this awesome, beautiful, golden honey of awesome tooth. Hey, yo, dude, I'm coming right up your ass. Oh, you take that one too, you little sneaky devil. Oh, but he doesn't take this one. Excellent. Well, he almost threw me off course because I hit him. Man, this beats Mario Kart any day, am I right? Okay, no, I probably get a lot of hate. Everyone loves Mario Kart. Oh, come on! That was bullshit because, like, last place pushed me. But honestly, I would like to see Mario Kart Double Dash 2 come out. You know, they don't really make sequels very often, or at all, really. Just they expand the game. But I would really like to see a second uh, Mario Kart Double Dash, or at least like, you know, have an add-on to Mario Kart 8, where you can then use two partners. I honestly thought that was a great concept. And a lot of people do like it, they either like the, they either love the game or they hate the game. I love the game. It's honestly the first Mario Kart that I've actually ever fully beaten. It's such a good game. For a minute I thought I missed something, but I didn't miss anything. Just this map loops around a lot. And there we go. Pew. We beat the race. Two minutes and 37 seconds. That's not bad at all. I wonder what her egg's name is. First place, you're a pretty fancy flyer. We got Shemp. Like Dr. Shemp from first game? Apparently Shemp's a lady. And now we'll do the time attack. Here's a hint. I'm not going to do the hint. I'm just going to do it the way I know how to do it. Starting with the rings with the beautiful blue gems and brew. Ha ha. 
then I will destroy the, the guys, the cows on tractors? No, they're sheep on tractors. There are cow artists over there. Why am I brutally murdering farm animals that are clearly running a farm themselves? What are they farming? So then we got these artist cows over here. Oh, I remember the hunter mission here. Yeah, this is probably one of the more annoying hunter ones. Still a good one, but it's it's weird. Oh, then we got pigs and planes. Are these British pigs? I think they're British pigs. Wait, is that an insult to the Brits? Oh man. Who had to be mean to the Brits? What do they ever do to you, America? America takes offense to everything. There we go, 100 percent again. 400 gems. So we got all the rings, all the tractors, all the cows, and all the planes. And only took less than a minute. That was so amazing that everyone in the farmyard clubbed together to buy you this as a reward. They had to buy me an egg named Gavin. Screw you, Gavin, and your cool shades that I want to have. Now, see that barn house type thing in the middle? Yeah, that's where Hunter is. Though, well, the next speedway is the one where we don't get to 100%, which is sad, so I'll probably skip it until we can get 100% there. Anyways, hi, Hunter. Spyro, you're not gonna believe this, but there are sheep saucers and space cows all over this place. We gotta stop them before they abduct anybody. Okay, let's go. Man, I don't know what is with him and sh sheep saucers and space cows. That's a reference to the last game, though, where they started adding these things in. These guys actually became a real big gimmick for a while. For some reason, in the um, future games, they came out with things called Rip Talks, which are like um, Ripto's minions, because for some reason they thought it was a good idea to keep bringing back Ripto, even though Ripto is dead. And then, on top of that, it's like, we had Narks from Nasty Nark, apparently Riptox from Ripto, even though he didn't actually have a specific race of creature in the actual Spyro 2 games, and then you have the Rhinox from Sorceress. And it's just like, okay, okay, cool concept, cool concept. And then if you play um, Spyro a Hero's Tale, the last of like the Spyro the regular Spyro games before they turned into the Legend games. Uh, you had a mix of different enemies. Like, you had Nasty Nark, then you had like an Evil Mermaid, you had Red, and you had like Mechanized Red, and it's a pretty difficult game. Like, Hunter returned as a playable character. Bentley was in it, but didn't do anything. Like, it shows, uh, like, a lot of games have characters come back, but they're not really playable. I believe the Game Boy games actually brought back, like, Sheila and Agent 9 and stuff. I would have played a uh, Game Boy game for you, but it likes to malfunction. The last one just before he abducted this egg. What do you mean he was like literally standing there? And it's Roberto. Hey, Roberto. And a bubble. But there we go. We're done the speedway. So let's leave. Yes, we have to leave Sparks. You don't even do anything while we're here. There we go, 2,800 gems. And last time I checked, we were 26%, so I'm going to say we're at least 30% done the game. So if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys back here for some more Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon. Peace out.